expected to be a beautiful and busy weekend on the coast, but Imperial Beach residents won't be able to go into the water after a second sewage spill in just two days. Our tenders reporter Matt Boone explains the spill has been stopped, but problems do remain. Yeah, cross border officials saying they were able to get this particular spill stopped around 7 o'clock this morning. That's some good news, but it's left the water quality still very poor south of the IB Pier ahead of this busy holiday week. It looks scenic. Because it's beautiful today. But once again, it smells really bad. The ocean near Imperial Beach has been contaminated. It's just kind of like disheartening because it's such a stupid problem to have. Jesse and Christabel Adams and their son Luke live nearby. They say they've enjoyed seeing Imperial Beach blossom with new restaurants and a vibrant Friday market. Yeah, we come yeah. here every week, every Friday. And we have like a really good restaurants now, you know, places to go. Hanging outside oh, is fun. But merchants at the market were hesitant to go on camera, not wanting to associate what happens on land with what's been a near constant in the water. They've had the signs up for, I've been here since 2011, so the signs are always up. Or at least it seems that way. South Bay beaches were closed regularly during our wet winter, but these signs were put up on Wednesday after a sewage collection facility in Tijuana ruptured, sending three and a half million gallons of sewage into the Tijuana River and out to the ocean. Then on Thursday, another 142,000 gallons spilled before the flow was stopped. <laughs> Jesse Pena brings his son here often, but not to swim. I, mean, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't let him go in the water with a sewer spit. Still, it doesn't stop him from enjoying it. For, for me, I always try to remember that like, people want to retire in San Diego and I'm living here. And if you do plan on going down to the beach and enjoying the water, you can check the county's website. They've got a list of water quality. You can find a link to that on our website, 10news.com. Reporting in Imperial Beach, Matt Boone, 10 News.